Hey guys, so today we have my modified Lego Star Wars ATTE set number 75337. I memorized that because I've wanted this set for a long time and now I have it. Um, <laughs> this is actually my favorite set. Um, not because it's an ATTE, I mean, actually, kind of, yes. Uh, but I really like this set, and also it comes with a, the first phase to Commander Cody. Um, so according to Lego, they said they've done the best they've could, but I don't agree with them. I think they could have done way better. I don't know where I got this information from, but I definitely know I got it from Lego. Um, I saw it somewhere actually. Um, but th these are the small changes, modifications that I've done to possibly make it better and lego could have done this easily now i could have also done some of these changes better but i've done them to my best ability at the time of actually doing it so first off the main change you could kind of obviously see is the main turret the best thing is probably i've changed this instead of the uh well done stun stud shooters that look really ugly and shouldn't be there and well also what i've done here oh yeah you saw that i just twisted it around you could kind of fit a minifigure in there and basically the what i've done there is you can do this you spin it around spin it around some more hit some nice angles for your like stop motions i guess it's actually really easy it's just like a one piece holding out that's why uh it's like falling down but i'll fix that i'll find a way maybe a part two might be coming <laughs> and the next modification i've made is on the inside at the front and you've seen a lot of people do this because they should because lego should have done this um they should have uh, added tons of plating here because um only like what two minifigures could could fit they could only fit here and here on like a small plate that you could lift out and take out but i put those plates in there because it's really easy to just put your minifigures in there and also in here if i just show you later so you can see lots of plating uh if you turn it around a bit you can kind of see i've added this plate here and you uh there's like a control panel there for the minifigures to control obviously um yeah let me put the plates back on uh, it's really satisfying to put the plates back together especially this one this helps that actually helped a lot um okay um so the next one is kind of a really not necessary one but also necessary at the same time it's the back um so i don't need to take the panels off because lego have done a um incredible job of getting lots of space for you to put your hand in it because panels can be opened really well and also this really cool feature um basically when this is attached like that you can uh, actually like just do that and it goes down then it folds back amazing absolutely amazing so i haven't really done much to the back except um well add one singular seat there and i've moved you know that wrench over here yeah and i've added this piece so like you can attach some extra weapons there and i've taken that out so you can like put the sniper rifles there from your minifigures um yeah you can fit some minifigures uh an extra one at, right at the back and yeah so that is it for my modifications guys this is satisfying watch this and then and then look at this 
satisfaction. Okay, so yeah, here's the finished thing. Oh, and also the front. I haven't really done much at the front because Lego's done an amazing job. And they've made it hard to change in there. So part two will definitely be a hundred times better than this one because actually yeah, I didn't put much time to modify modifying these, but it will be way better than this one. Um. So yeah, nothing much in here. Look in the. I said, I said, look. You're being held at gunpoint by the cannon right there. So look inside. Now I'll put this back in here. And also. You should subscribe because the cannon's pointing at you. You should like and subscribe. So you can have extra luck and maybe you could get the set too. And also my favourite feature that they've actually added here is the fact that you can, well, handle, lift up, the dangle, yes. Slam back down, approved. The only thing that I don't like is the legs, how hollow they are. Because as you can see, they're like really flimsy and I can just like rip the leg off, dangle it around, put it back. And yeah, these uh, turrets at the back you can shoot. And I thought um, they would be like really hard to put in because the way they looked and easy at the same time. And actually, they're very easy. So basically, all you do is just like get this, you get one of these, and then just like do this. And also, at the front, there's four double trouble. Look at that quad trouble, actually. And I think if I count, oh, what's wrong with that leg? Um, if I count, maybe, let me see how many possible minifigures we could fit in here. So in there, probably like six is a good amount. Yeah, six in there could fit. No, five. And then one in the in here to control, so that's six. Um, and then on here, that's another one, so that's seven. And then here, well, that's six. So seven plus six. It's 20, uh, 21. I'm just joking. I'm not that dumb. Uh, I'm not dumb. Uh, it's 13. I knew that. It's not 13. It is 13. You know why? Because 7 plus 7 is 14. And 6. 7 minus 6 is 1. So you take away 1 from 14 and it's 13. Easy maths. Or you can just use a calculator. Um, okay, anyway. <clears throat> not, um, not really uh, apart from here. Okay, okay, let me just get straight to the point. That was a good video, good set, good modifications. I don't know why I keep slapping the set. I, I, I feel bad now. Um, and you guys will make me feel bad if you don't like and subscribe. Um, because we're trying to hit a billion subscribers. But anyways, I, if you guys didn't know, I have a channel called Positube HD. Uh, this is the Positube HD channel. I make Lego videos, Connects videos, Beyblade videos. I also have another channel called Positube Gaming. I do gaming videos that make sense because it's called Positube Gaming. I would love you subscribe because um, I make tons of videos on this channel. I think almost 2,000 videos and 6 years of content, so yeah. If you guys like it, subscribe to my videos, bye guys.